All right, so I just want to do a quick video here in regards to solar panels. Now, solar panels come up quite often on the channel throughout uh, various videos. Um, solar panels are not a terrible option, but they're not the best option for myself, just given the situation being in the Pacific Northwest, right? So although we get some stretches of sunshine here, we don't actually have a large window for peak sun hours, right? So the daylight hours just don't equal the peak hours where you're gonna get most of the uh, power from the solar panels. So I just wanna look at this video here. You've probably seen it on another channel. And I'll be honest here, this is actually me behind the camera. This is Steve Davis from uh, Smooth Wake Innovations. Steve and I have lost touch over the years, but uh, nonetheless, I shot this video with him and we connected through an EV club. He wanted to see what I was doing with the Tollycraft. I wanted to see the stuff that he'd been working on. He'd been involved in this game for a lot longer than myself. He'd been doing um, electric hydraulic tractors and things like that. Plus he was a shipwright for many, many years. So when I got out to this Davidson Chugger, which in itself is a really awesome uh, little lifeboat, it's really cool. And I saw this conversion here and I looked at it, I was like, wow, this is actually a really interesting motor package. I'd never seen anything like this at the time, right? So he had this custom uh, Mott Energy AC motor, the glycol loop and the box fans and the solar panels. Uh, when I looked at this, I was impressed and a little bit jealous. Um, he, Steve was a, uh, a wealth of knowledge, super smart guy, and um, yeah, just very well thought out with um, a lot of his uh, conversions. So if you look at the uh, panel set up here, he's got four solar panels, 48 volts, and I believe he said we were uh, producing four amps. Now that is the peak of the day here. This is That was a very hot day, um, midsummer, and what can you say, right? Four amps pretty much ends the argument right there with the Tollycraft. So to get uh, eTolly moving, if I'm doing uh, say four knots, I'm pulling 30 amps per side. If I'm doing uh, five knots, it's uh, 40 amps per side. If I'm doing six knots, it's actually 76 amps per side, right? You can see that, that weird fluctuation and how much draw you need uh, just by increasing um, you know, a couple of knots. So there's no panel that I'm aware of that is going to uh, put, that's going to greatly reduce the net loss that I'm experiencing while underway. Uh, I think solar panels right now are around 30% efficient. Uh, there's probably some that are more expensive that are more efficient. And then of course, as you go down the line, they become less and less uh, efficient. Uh, like I said, nothing against solar panels. Love the idea, love what they do, all that stuff. I just don't live in a place where it's um, really a, a, um, a feasible option. You know, um, we don't have the peak sun hours that a lot of other places will have. And yeah, it's just not gonna cut it. But eh, you know what, if things change, solar panels get a little bit better or if the weather uh, decides that it's gonna be more like California here, yeah, I'll get some. <laughs> anyway, 